All right, good morning. It's windy. But what do you expect when you're in the middle of a windmill farm? Uh, it's cold, it's windy, and as of yesterday, I've introduced a new pain. Now, to balance out my right Achilles and plantar fasciitis, I guess all the compensation I've been doing on my left side has finally caught up, and now my left hip hurts. So, just another 30-something uh, miles, I guess, to, <laughs> to get to that highway to hitch to... Uh, to hatch pee. I gotta say, um, it's starting to bum me out. Like, my attitude towards this whole trip has been like, yay, happy day all day. Even when it's rainy, even when it's hot, even when it's not. But, uh, yeah, these body pains are really starting to be a drag and annoying and a bit of a discouragement. Cause that little voice in the back of your head starts to get a little louder like something's gonna break you're not gonna make it something's gonna break and uh, I guess now in a way I'm I'm glad uh, I'm glad I lost my herd and and uh, VIP's gone up ahead with his new family <laughs> right now if this was Nat Geo <laughs> And these were uh, those wild buffalo. Uh, I'd be that one, that buffalo with the limp in the back that's getting uh, <laughs> getting ready to get preyed on by the by the pri uh, pride of lions. Uh, so I woke up a little bit extra earlier today. Started at eight yesterday. Started at six this morning. Um, I really think I'm only gonna do like. 10 miles today. Yesterday the mile plan was 16 miles a day, 3 days to get to that spot, but um, it turned out to be 17 plus 2 miles I did extra because I lost a piece of gear so I had to go back and get that and so I did 19 really uh but today, just the way things are feeling, I'm gonna go extra slow, take even more breaks, and um, yeah, I might, I might just do 10 or something, cause uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling so hot today. But other than that, spirits are good. Got enough food, got enough water. Beautiful, uh, different scenery, you know? Show you what I'm looking at here. Since I don't have a tripod. <laughs> All right, let me stop. I'll see you on the bit. Morning's little pity party. Uh, I guess the hip warmed up a little bit and it's not as annoying, but uh, just wanted to take a moment just the acknowledgement of a wow to everybody doing this thing and everybody that has done it to just, you know, <laughs> I think I've said it before, but I've always been like, man, I wonder how long it would take me to get all the way over there. And uh, here I am, <laughs> actually doing it and finding out 
Although I kind of forget off the top of my head how many days, but I'd say three, six, nine, nine, because I took some uh, zero days. Um, but just very cool from up there to down there through the windmills and something, 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 and here I am. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's uh, man. I gotta tell you, I, I find it uh, chillier here than, than I did up in some of the areas where there was snow. It's it's kind of, uh, you know, weird. You're thinking desert, Mojave, out here, plain open. But, I mean, they spend thousands, if not a couple million bucks, uh, you know, finding a prime windy area to maximize the electricity off of those. So without a doubt in my mind that you know this is the windy area and from what i hear in tehachapi on the other side of this hill we can expect uh a lot more <laughs> so right now i think i got seven miles to that uh, water cache and a campsite and i think that would bring me to 14 something miles today started at uh six in the morning so i think i think that that'll be uh that'll be it for the day motivated you know just a uh, nice and gradual up but it's uh you know no snow no rocks to jump around just uh kind of even and although it was a uh, pretty flat yesterday and and I thought that was going to be easy. Kind of found found it a little challenging. One, uh, I think uh, finding stimulation on the trail. It just kind of turns into this with the occasional trash. Not up here so much, but between that and I think just walking flat is what uh, started uh, throwing me off. Because actually going uphill and downhill... My hip hurts less, so go figure. Anyway, just wanted to share this. Um, yeah, I was just vast and open, and what you just never really know what to expect. Again, May 11th, I believe it is. I'm not sure. And here I am, still bundled up. Still wearing shorts, but uh, that's just my logic. My legs never really get cold, but my hands and you know chest do. But not today. All right, so let me push on a little bit more, and we'll update later. It's crazy how not too long ago I was at Baden Powell looking down over here towards the Mojave and now I'm in the Mojave looking up at uh, Baden Powell. Started from the top, now I'm at the bottom. And then we get back up to the top and repeat. Okay, you said you were going to hike 15 miles a day and get to Tehachapi in three days and take it easy on your body because you keep complaining that everything hurts <gasps> when the results are in, and that was a lie. <laughs> I just hit the 14 mile marker at that last uh, water cache, and then I see that it's like nine and a half miles to get to the bottom of, uh, of this here mountain and get to that 40, which makes it for an easy hitch. And uh, we're descending mostly. 
a little ascend. I think I'm on it now. I think I'm on the highest part and it should be a mostly descent after this. So it was really windy. I said I was going to do like 15 and that was the water and originally I was thinking of staying there but it's just way too windy up here. As you can see in the Mojave Desert in May, one o'clock or two o'clock and I'm in my puffy. Well, actually, I'm lying. I'm not. <laughs> but it's uh, the sun's out and it's warm, but this this wind, whew, the wind chill really drops and and you feel it. So uh, it, it'll come in gusts and start knocking you around a bit. So I might not even do the nine. Pause. <laughs> But uh, honestly, if, if between here and and there, I, I find a promising little clear, well-protected spot, uh, I'm just going to stop there. My logic right now is uh, trying to get away from the ridge and, and uh, get a little bit lower. But quite frankly, as you can see, there's windmills that way, which indicate wind. So... Uh, yeah, there's no escaping it right now. So, um, yeah, that's the mission. Just find a nice little protected uh, spot to call camp or keep going down until we do so. And uh, assuming I make it down to the 40, I don't know if that counts as that Tehachapi challenge or you actually have to go to that further point, which a lot of people skip a little little unknown secret amongst through hikers they don't want you to know some people get a hitch at the 40 and skip the 8 miles and go ahead to the 58 and just keep going but... <laughs> four miles today which I'm very proud of my body although my legs already feel like sandbags at this point but I think this cold and this wind has been a big distraction so I'm not focusing on how tired my legs are uh, no pain I mean light ache but all that boning that I was doing yesterday and earlier Gone for now <laughs> until I stop and <laughs> and the muscles tighten up. I don't know how much you can hear, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to just share. I mean, it's to hatch a pee. <laughs> so many of these, way more than uh, on the other side. 24 miles. Tehachapi. Uh, some people already set up camp, but way over there, uh, the highway is right there. You can see the truck right there. Um, I guess this is the water cache, Trail Angels right here. 
Phone number here. Nick and Finn. Pick up and picking up hikers, oblivious. He gives rides. And uh, I was just right now with uh, Shock Put. Um, she got a ride with a Trail Angel. I didn't have anywhere to go. I didn't really have a plan. I kind of had already uh, committed in my head. I was just going to stay here and tomorrow knock out those eight, get it out of the way, go to town and, and not even have to worry about this anymore. Because a uh, little known secret, some through hikers skip the eight miles. I know. Shame, shame, shame. Now I'm no purist. I'll take a blue blaze, purple blaze, black blaze, whatever blaze, but uh, I'm gonna walk. I'll go over, under, around, through. Good morning. Day 67 over here at the pipe gate and registry at mile marker 558.2. It was moderately windy last night. I don't know if you can hear the the sound of the windmills in the background. It basically just sounds like an airplane's flying over you nonstop. But that's why I wear earplugs or I have them in here for such occasions. But um man, if I had a uh, a uh, if I would have done a time lapse of me getting ready this morning, and I'm not fully there yet, but mostly there. But, um, oh my God, I've been taking my sweet time today. Usually when I'm out up there, I'm like, all right, it's time to go. Boom, 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 pack up. Let's get going here. I'm like watching a movie. I started combing the knots out of my hair. And it's gotten quite long, actually. I've never had it this long. Uh, I feel like I need um, a Bubba Gump fishing hat so I can complete my uh, Forrest Gump look. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was a very chill night. Um, very surprised. Like I said, I was supposed to do 16 miles a day max three days nice and easy um first day was 17 of the faucet uh, i was in bad hip pain at the end like i mean i was limping like a 102 year old man would um i was worried i felt the pain throughout the night i felt it early in the morning gave myself a stretch um, starting off yesterday in the morning, uh, again, it was a little tender. I was really getting into my head, um, not having such a good morning. Um, allowed myself more stretch breaks, like every three miles. Uh, definitely slowed my pace down a lot more. Uh, took a very, or a longer lunch, uh, than usual, um, but just to stretch and, and rest up. And I don't know what it was after that. Um, I could feel the pain and discomfort, but it was very moderate compared to what I was feeling earlier. And I was, you know, after I got to the 14 miles and I kept hearing this whole Tehachapi challenge deal thing, I was kind of inspired a bit, tempted. But um, yeah, I, I told myself I'll push forward just enough to um, find a nice little, you know, area protected by the wind, but it was, it was bad. I like definitely the Tehachapi side, I think blows more. And I mean, it was knocking me left and right. And, uh, you know, with packing all, I say I'd, I'm like 180, 190, you know, pounds, give or take. And it was just knocking me to this way, that way. I felt like I was just a stumbling fool. But anyways, um, it was a moderate windy night. Had a good night, slept decent. And again, um, so I guess I ended up doing 23.3 miles yesterday. I know, right? Round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know, I told myself, I, what are you doing, why? But I guess, again, tempted that I wasn't feeling pain and that it was mostly downhill, soft sand. 
so it helped a lot and sometimes you got the wind on your back which was pushing you forward so you know as long as you weren't at an edge you were okay but anyways um when i got down to the pipe gate uh i signed my name and usually i don't look around but uh, some something about this postcard really caught my attention and one tell me this isn't me and i felt um that the quote just completely spoke to me so well, hopefully it caught it yeah i mean tell me that ain't me right there the hat my uh black uh hoodie always in shorts my darn tough socks that i'm wearing right now my ultras my hyper light and um yeah just that uh it really spoke to me and man ain't it the truth so today is an easy eight miles to the um, other side to get to the 58 and you gotta cross the highway and look both ways and, and um, gotta find some kind of ride or you can call the bus or I'll figure it out. And if you're lucky enough to run into this green Prius You'll meet a magical man by the name of Oblivious. His name and number should be on a picnic table. And as you can see, he hands out some awesome trail magic. So if you're lucky, you just might run into this man. Oh man, bless you brother. Thank you, have a great day. Oh man, this trail thing. Magic. We go around the hazard, around the down line. Don't you, don't you step on it. And get zapped. And that's the end of that. What the hell? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought I went the wrong way. I guess I have to defy the odds two times. Whoop. There it is, the 58, proof of participation. Yes, sir. Uh, some people actually do what is a smart, uh, you know, again, I'm trying to go straight north, not flip-flop or none of that, which again, nothing wrong with that because quite frankly, this is a genius idea. Some people actually get off at the 40, go into town, eat whatever, rest, uh, get a hotel room, come back to the 58 and slack pack these uh, eight miles. And uh, it's actually more downhill starting from this way going backwards. So it's not a bad idea. That's pretty genius. But me, I'm just a stubborn mule, 
following that carrot in front of me and I only know forward because I got blinders on literally on my glasses and these hoodies I can't really see <laughs> but um oh look still got some yucca trees or Joshua trees I don't know one of those two very cool desert trees and yeah so that's town I see a bathroom I've been wanting to go since the morning but as you can see not too many uh, hiding options around here so I did see a uh, porta potty right across that street there so uh, yeah easy day really down here it's a lot warmer but like nice warm and no wind chill just a very light breeze so today is a nice one whoa look at that i don't know what that cow ate some bad grass uh, down at the bottom some construction blue collared hard working men and women doing their deal on the rails and uh big ass freight train passing through and let's see what are the odds of me getting an easy ride out of here in the town place your bets now so i'm in tehachapi typical me plans i have no plan but i'm here uh i went to that place and i wasn't there for five minutes and uh turns out i saw todd again and he got dropped off by a veteran so he was coming back here and took me or brought me into town immediately went somewhere to eat dude was super kind chris thank you so much definitely make me want to move to to hatchapi it's a very cozy uh chill vibe you know like everybody kind of knows each other in a way but it's still like spread out a bit um the rooms are a little pricey. I'm by myself. I see why a lot of people are, are rolling deep. They're like 160 and up plus tax. So, uh, I don't know. Close to 200. 190, 200. You can spitball it. Uh, there are some other motels. I haven't checked them out. But for right now, the place that I was going to stay at, uh, which is the cheapest I found so far, doesn't even let you pay or anything until 3. So came to the bfw hang out with some vets so uh check it out inside and yeah. never tells me where she's been she's had too much to drink I say that i don't care i just run my hands through a dark hair that i'm bringing